y'all so today's video is a collaboration with Lemme Hair and as always they pack their box with some useful goodies a wig cap a pencil pouch with the scarf elastic band hair clip bobby pins tweezers edge brush and of course the hair itself this is their celebrity style shortcut side part closure lace wig in 8 inches. This is definitely the shortest wig I ever installed but it's definitely perfect for summertime when you don't want all the extra hair swinging on your back. I decided to take the easy and quickest way out by tinting the lace with this tint spray instead of bleaching the knots. I even went back in with my face powder to be sure that the lace was the color of my scalp. wig on before I decided to add any product to it I'm just positioning it to see where I want my hairline to lay with it and while I'm doing that I just want y'all to pay attention to the texture of this hair or more so the styling of it I was definitely loving how one side of the wig had a deep bouncy curl to it while the other side laid straight it was kind of giving me a black girls 1950s vintage vibe Honestly, this wig didn't need any other plucking. You could have went without it, but of course, I wanted to go the extra route to do so, and that is what I'm doing here. And y'all, forgive me, but if I sound like I'm out of breath doing this voiceover, it's honestly because I am. I am eight months pregnant, and doing all this talking and walking around, etc., there's just a lot of work on my lungs with a baby smushing it all up together. So forgive me, but we're going to get through this video because I want y'all to see the slayage. Now when we get to this part of the video, I do just want to say, usually we got to be glue. I only use that to lay down the actual wig cap, never the lace of my wig. But unfortunately, I was nowhere near my uh, bolt hold glue that I used to actually lay it down. And that's honestly better than using this got to be spray when it comes to the lace of the wig. But being that I couldn't find it, this was the only thing I had at the moment. And that was all I used. So it did take me a couple sprays here and there to get it all done and sticky. And I don't like using it. <laughs> but like I said, I had no choice. It was like my last option. Um, I just don't like the fact that when it drips, it dries. And it started looking real dry, forgive me, cummy looking on your skin. and Or snot wise. And I don't like that look. But hey, it worked for the video. So... That's what we're going to do, but other wigs, videos going forward, I'm definitely going to try to find my bow hole because this right here wasn't it, but it was it for the moment. So for the next couple of clips, I'm just going to be cutting the lace, putting the extra got to be glue spray on it just to make sure it stay and blow drying it and we'll just see from there.
I hear you. I can see. Can you see the legs? Yes. I see all 10 of your toes. Can you see me now? Yep. How can you see? Because I got supervision. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. These girls have supervision. Hmm? These girls have supervision. Yep, supervision, superpowers, all that. Okay, y'all, so this is the next day, and I'm just going to try to tweak this lace from here because, as you can see, I do not really like how that got to be glue spray held my lace down or how it makes it look like it's coming up already as cakey, etc. So I'm just going to try to finesse it. Um, but first, you know, of course, I got to try to do something, get some baby hairs out to try to add some razzle-dazzle to the look. Um, it was kind of tough doing it for the most part because the lace was just getting on my nerves. Um... And again, it's not the wig. It's not the wig's fault. It's definitely my fault because I didn't have the right glue. But yeah, just watch me as I finesse it and tweeze it and do whatever I got to do because I definitely was playing with it from here. And one thing I want to point out, before you put on any wig, bro, if you got like the little nappy roots or whatever you want to call it, edges, make sure you just slick your real hair back before trying to lay a wig so it'll look more neater i usually do this but y'all i've just been going through it lately um but like i said i definitely still try to do my best on slaying this wig so if you've seen my video posted recently before this um when i announced my pregnancy you can actually tell on that video that my wig was starting to look a little raunchy or whatever but yeah i tried i'm gonna keep trying and we're gonna get it with the next one i promise you <laughs> y'all so here is where i'm going to try to finesse the lace a little more because as you can see the lace is very much so visible so i'm taking my fenty beauty um tinted moisturizing spray i'm sorry foundation um i'd have two of them and this one was just a little darker so i used the other one for my face so i just decided to use the darker one for my lace here and hopefully just try to make it blend in with my skin with my scalp so you're going to see me play with it here a few times and just trying to get the best of it that I can. So during these last few clips, I'm just going to be trying to style it and profile it, you know, make that thing flat, make that thing lay, and just, again, try to do the best I can. So just enjoy it from here on out, and let's just do what it do.
Okay, y'all. So this is how I ended up finessing this 8-inch Celebrity Cut Short wig. And, yeah, I really like this wig. Very suitable. I feel like it fits my face, even though it's kind of fat and chunky right now due to pregnancy. But either way, um, I do like the way it is styled. Again, I would definitely recommend using a better lace glue that will actually melt and looks realistic. Furthermore, like I said, love it. I hope you guys love it. And if you're interested in this wig, of course, all links will be in the description box below. Take care. Love you guys. And enjoy your rest of your 2022. Love ya.